Hi guys, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to the fourth tutorial in my Programming 2D Pong with LWJGL3 tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how we can both initialize OpenGL and create a utilities class which will handle creating float buffers which will be needed further down the line when we create our vertex array objects and vertex buffer objects. So we'll begin with the OpenGL initialization. Now open up the driver class that we created in the main package and head down to the init function and just after we've declared glfw show window we're going to want to type the following so gl context dot create from current and then sysl control space open gl plus gl get string gl underscore version now this needs to import org.lwjgl.opengl.star at the top. So remember that import when you're doing that. Now if we just want to check it, we can click run. And it types out 2 pong and the current OpenGL version number at the bottom here. Now what this first line does is it creates a context in which our OpenGL code can run. This is important as it lets the computer know for which application should the OpenGL's calls be executed. The easiest way to imagine why this would be useful is if we create two instances of our game and called GL clear. Without a context for this command to run, the GPU has no idea which application should be executing this command. Now creating a context basically lets us keep track of states and eradicates this problem for us. Now after that we've done that, we want to head down to the render function and just above where we've done GL swap buffers, um, we're going to want to type the following um, GL clear, GL color, buffer bit, and GL depth, buffer bit. And then we're going to want to clear the color, so we're going to set it to GL clear color, and we're going to set it to um set it to a nice pink. Okay, and if we try building that now, you'll see it's got a nice pinky, purpley background. Okay, so that's basically all the initialization code for OpenGL done. And we can now move on to building the utilities package and class. So right click in your source folder and click new package and we're going to go to this package utils. Right click in the newly created package and create a new class and this one's going to be called utilities. Okay and within this utilities class we're going to want to create a public static float buffer create float buffer and it's going to take in a float array and we're going to call this float array data. So you'll notice that this highlights as an error, so hover over that and import float buffer. And it's the java.nio.float buffer um, more, uh, library that we want to import. Okay. So within this function we're gonna want to do the following float buffer um, buffer equals buffer utils dot create float buffer and we're going to want to do data dot length. So this basically creates a float buffer of length of whatever our data is and after that we're going to want to do buffer dot put and pass in our data and then just to close off the buffer we want to do buffer dot flip and that's basically it and then we're going to want to return this newly created buffer object. Okay, so that's all we need um, in this tutorial. Um, if you want to see more lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorials, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.